YouTube, what's up, man? I know I've been gone. I know you guys have been asking me where I've been. I was actually on vacation for two weeks, man. I had a nice time. I was in Louisville, Ohio. Also checked out St. Louis. Had a great time, man. But now I'm back uploading videos. It is last chance qualifying time. That means everybody's grinding a leaderboard that wants a chance to get in the Madden Bowl. This is a salary cap game, and this is against Jay Wall, the, the Patriots Club Series champion, the kid that looks like he's eight years old, the kid that beats Skimbo. You guys know who I'm talking about, man. One of the uh, best trips tight ends players in the nation, Jay Wall. And um, the first play of the game, I just throw a laser right there. That's called precision passing, fitting the ball in the window anticipating when your player is going to get open. Huge play on first down. Second down, we get screamed at. But anyway, any offense, defense, special teams you see here can be found on Madden Turf. That link is below. You can hit that. Check out my ebook, Skimbo's ebook. Also, a bunch of other things on there that you guys can check out and uh, learn how to get better at Madden. Speaking of getting better at Madden, Jay Wall gives up a deep seam to Vernon Davis. That is the playoff. I, I believe, I think it is playoff powered up Vernon Davis. Whatever it is, but he has 94 speed on my team. So right down the seam, that's why I like him. Able to get a big play. Go up 7-0. That's always big when you're playing another competitive player, man. It's definitely good to get that 7-0 lead. And we get there early, and we get the scream right there from Gabe Martin. 12 cap, salary cap, beast. Once again, get a lot of pressure there. Vic rolls out. He's able to hit. He has a Vernon Davis of his own. I think he has even the combine Vernon Davis, an even better one. And uh, as you see, Jay Wall, man, he's somebody that really mixes in these zig routes, really uses the flat route very well. Quick out route, flat routes, he does that as well as anybody. As we see here, Jamal Adams with the strip. The one thing he has, man, he has uh, John Ross and, and some smaller wide receivers, man. And I feel like the small wide receivers are going to get you absolutely hit, stripped, everything. And then we hit a little dot over there to my wide receiver, Calvin Megatron Johnson. Um, next play, uh, he boxes me up pretty good. Roll out, playmaker Vic. You guys, if you guys are playing Madden, roll out with Vic. Make a play. That's why you have him. Big play to Vernon Davis right there. So I'm up 7-0. I'm in field goal range already. We're going to take this to the second quarter. Just trying to make the game shorter now. High ball over there. Uh, Randy Balls cannot come down with it for me. Um, this game was live streamed on Twitch, man. If you guys ever want to check out some of these games live, make sure you hit that link below. Twitch.tv slash dub dot. You can find all these games live there, man. Last chance qualifier going to be a lot of games, a lot of high balls to Randy Moss for a touchdown. 14-0, man. That's a great way to start the game. Got to make sure I get out of half with this lead. Three minutes and 30 seconds left. Got to just make them work, man. That's my whole goal when you're playing a good offensive player. Make them work. No big plays. Make them get a lot of completion so you can touch them. You can strip them. You can get physical. That's pretty much what I want to do. Physical, touch him, strip him, everything you possibly can. He fits the ball right there. Get double strips on him right there with Fuller, Marlon Humphrey. Bang, physical. Lawrence Taylor, 31 cap Lawrence Taylor coming off that edge. Michael Vick's not going to run away from LT. Throw it up the middle once again. Brian Dawkins, physical. Swats the ball out of Randy Moss's hands. Third and 17, throws it underneath. Try to strip him. Get the, Just get your hands on him. That's all. Get him to a fourth down. Calls timeout so his players are healthy. Fourth down, he's relying on his zig right here to get the first down, and it does. But, I said Jamal Adams touches him. That's okay. More Goes up top. We got Kyle Fuller deep as safety. Not going to burn that man. Swats the ball away. He has seven completions. That's seven opportunities to hit him. There's another one. Ramsey, get the ball out. Nope, can't get it out. That's okay, man. Just let them know you're there when you're playing defense. That's all it's about. Gabe Martin with a hit stick. I told you 12-cat beast. No huddles me on fourth down, man. It's fourth and one. Uh, obviously, he's going to the zig a lot. He's going to uh, deep crossing routes, trips tight end. I'm worried about the tight end here. I'm worried about the running back. I wind up just going double hard flats. Uh, I got a spy on Vic, obviously. And I, what I do right here is I run out, cover the crossing route. He tries to high ball. It wasn't open. Vic overdoes it. Turnover on downs. Get the ball back, man. We got to go ahead and hit him with this playmaker right here. Vernon Davis on the curl. Almost stay in bounds. Want to keep the clock running. I'm close to field goal range. 17 nothing would be beautiful right here. Uh, Vernon Davis didn't want to catch that one. He was a little tired after that hit stick from the previous play. Over here, hit this little drag right there. Julio Jones, get up. Back in field goal range. He uses a timeout. Man, I got to catch a dot right here. Quick pass slant over the middle. Who Jones, first down. That's going to allow me to run out the rest of this half. 17 nothing is still an option. 
Next play run, we really don't get anything right there. Going to call a timeout, preserve a little bit of time. Great pass protection. Hit the little zing on the knee. He almost covered that with that Sean Taylor right there. Go over four verts. We find him sleeping over here on the vertical route. The Calvin Megatron Johnson, 21 nothing past the sticks. But will I keep this lead? Will I fold? Obviously, you're playing. I'm playing live in the chat. Everybody's in the chat watching. Uh, and it gets to a point where it's like, okay, man, this is kind of becomes a practice game now when you're up this many points. But you got to learn to finish, man. That's something you got to do as he throws this corner out up top to Randy Moss. Tough catch, man. That allows him to get inside the 20-yard line. Cover up everything here. No real passes for him to be made. Goes out of bounds. Takes his field goal. 21-3. I feel great. Uh, only way I lose this game if I mess around, turn the ball over. Just got to take some time off the clock every time I had the ball. Most importantly, man, I, like I said, I've, I've held him to three points in the first half. I feel great about that. This first drive out of half, I mean, it's not even about trying to keep him from scoring. I got to keep him make taking up time, man. If, if I can somehow get to the fourth quarter, with, that would be perfect. Even if he scores a touchdown, if we can get this to the fourth quarter, that is my goal defensively. So once again, man, we're going to just make sure we don't give up a big play and we touch him. Every time he gets the ball right there, Brian Dawkins on the spy, we send him when he rolls out, touch him. Every single time, Jamal Adams come over, touch him. Physical. That's what I want from my team. That's what I want. Rally to the football. There we go. We see Miles Garrett getting a sack on Michael Vick. Second and 20 throws it underneath. Ramsey. Put your hands on him. That's all I need you to do. As you see, here's John Ross, man. That combine player is really fast, but he's not physical. He's like, ooh, I missed one right there. That's a big play. Missing that hit stick cost me about another 10 yards. But look, he has 13 completions. Once again, just hit him. Strip the ball out. That's all we got to do, man. Just keep the ball in front of us. Make some plays. You know, every, nobody's on conservative ball carriers. Paulson has 10 cap holes on the ball. Nobody's on secure, secure or conservative ball carriers. So, man, you always have the opportunity to fumble. Always believe that. And we touch them again, man. That's all it's about. You guys can count how many times I've touched them, how many times we've ripped for the ball, how many times he's been hit-sticked, man. And, and as much as people say fumbles, obviously, are lucky to get them, man. But if you're consistently putting your hands on people like this as he throws the ball up there, if you're consistently putting your hands on people, Good things will happen. Just play the percentages. And as you see, because I'm letting him dump the ball off, look how much time is left in the third quarter. We've already made him take three minutes and 30 seconds off the clock. He uses a timeout because everybody's tired. Everything's going well for me right now. Throws the ball underneath. Again, Jamal Adams, touch him. No huddles. Fourth and one, man. It's hard. He can still run right here. I'm not going to overplay the run or to give up a touchdown. Just want to make sure I don't give up a touchdown. Even if he gets a first down, it's probably going to take this to the fourth quarter. And like I said before the drive, that was the most important thing about this. Got to worry about the running back in the flat. I believe my little bit of match coverage over there on the right will cover that. Once he motions that guy over, uh, I just got to worry about, yep, back over the middle, cover everything. And we get the block shed there by Miles Garrett. Nowhere to go. Of course, Michael Vick somehow makes a throw. He gets his hand on the ball. Just unreal that he made a throw into the end zone accurately. <laughs> Just crazy. So now it's like I'm just going to take some time off the clock. This game is cooked. Three minutes left, man. Every drive I get is at least a minute and 30 off the clock. Next play, we're going to go ahead and hit this crossing route. Boom, we get from the seven-yard line all the way up to the 40. Get out from the back, from my back from my own goal post. Next play, we're able to hit this little drag on the knee, Vernon Davis. Get some yards, move on up. Time is It's almost like a practice game now because the game is so obviously over. That, you know, you don't even take it serious to the point where you're kneeling the ball, running the clock out, as I should. But that's not why they watch. That's not why they watch YouTube. We go up top and throw a pick. That was cross man. Try to burn him with Randy Moss right there. But Kyle Fuller, he was fast enough for me and he's fast enough for Jay Wall. So I throw a pick right there. Next play, he beats me with some covers beater over the top. Randy Moss able to dive and tackle him, man. Even if it doesn't do anything, what that does is it, <laughs> it runs some more time off the clock. Next play, he throws underneath. We're almost at a two-minute warning. I'm up 18 points. There's no way this game is ever going to be close. I'm allowing him to hit that post route over the middle. Boom, touchdown. Nice dot. So now he's back. He has life. He fakes the extra point. Deion Sanders makes a play. So now we go ahead, man. We're that we're up by what? What are we up by? Blah, 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 do my math. We're up by 12 points. Yeah. Up by 12. Feeling good, but the first play, 96 speed, Sean Taylor picks me off in the flat. 
And I don't even get to the two-minute warning. So I'm doing everything wrong to let him stay in this game when he was blown out already. Run some clock off. We have Miles Garrett spying. Not that fast. But Jalen Ramsey's not letting that pass go down. Second and ten. Same thing. Just cover everybody. Throws in the flat again. Just touch him again. But he gets out. Stops the clock. He has 21 completions. That's 21 hits. 21 strips. We did not get physical on that play. LeGarrette Blunt just laid Deion Sanders out. So now we're only up six. One possession game, YouTube. I cannot choke this game away. There's no way. It was 21-3 to with two minutes left in the fourth quarter. There's no way we give this game up. I guess that can't happen, is it? First play, of course, you know we get sacked. We're going to make this thing interesting. That's what we do. Next play, throw the post right over the middle. Randy Moss, he calls his timeout. He has one timeout left. Next play, a little play action, and we get screamed at. Sack. I'm going to punt the ball. I'm a professional punter. When you get old, I'm 31 years old. When you get old, you become a professional punter. Punt that thing from the 25 to the 28. First play, he's got all the momentum and throws a pick to Marlon Humphrey. That's how the game ends. After all that, after all his fighting back, he fires the ball right to my yellow zone. 34 cat Marlon Humphrey. That's how the game is going to end, man. Really was funny because I know he was locked in. I know he was ready to get his chance to go ahead and go down the field and score a touchdown to win the game. But uh, held on just enough to win that game. I played really well that game. Like I said, man, it's just an example of, of when you're playing a good player, just bend, bend but don't break, man. They're going to get yards on you. They're going to get, you know, big plays. They're going to get short plays. They're going to find people open. But really, it's just about... Being able to make sure you tackle, make sure you get opportunities to get the ball, make sure you get opportunities to get hit sticks because you will get turnovers that way. And that's what Madden's about, getting those turnovers and also scoring touchdowns. Anytime you're up 21-3, to three, it's really easy to go ahead and lock in on defense. Funny ending to that game, man. He really fought back, did well. Obviously, the way I closed out the game was not the way I wanted. But please hit that like button. Please, uh, man, we'll get back to more gameplays coming soon.